Okay, this is Romeo and Juliet, um, homework help for transition students, assignment number three. So let's, this is Monday's assignment. It says complete synopsis circle questions and understand, and understanding the question and pre-bucketing worksheet in complete sentences. Okay, so um, we went through the synopsis in the last video, and now it says, who is to blame, Romeo or Juliet? And so the play ends, but what to do? Prince Aeschylus wants to figure out who should be pardoned and who should be punished. In this mini cute, you are, <clears throat> excuse me, you are asked to answer the question, Romeo and Juliet, who's to blame, okay? So first you have your synopsis circle questions. Your worksheet will look like this, okay? So number one, what does feuding mean? What are the names of the two feuding families in Romeo and Juliet? So feuding is a long lasting dislike for each other. It's fighting, okay? You've heard of families feuding before or gangs feuding before. The two families are the Montague and the Capulets. Number two, in line number six of the synopsis circle, Juliet says, oh, Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? What do you think wherefore means? What is she asking? Hint, wherefore does not mean where. So why does he have to be a Montague? Okay, so um, instead of where, like, where are you? She's saying, oh my gosh, why do you have to be, you know, my, my family's uh, enemy, okay? And number three, in, in line number seven, Friar Lawrence says, In one respect, I'll, I'll thy assistant be, for this alliance may so happy prove, to turn your household's rancor to pure love. What is his reason for marrying Romeo and Juliet? Hint, rancor means intense, long-lasting anger. So we know that. The two families have rancor or intent, intense, long-lasting anger. So if Friar Lawrence marries Romeo and Juliet, maybe the families will start to get along. It'll heal the families. Number four, who kills Mercutio? Who kills Tybalt? So if you remember, there was after Romeo and Juliet got married, Tybalt was very angry about um, Romeo had crashed the party. And so he was looking for Romeo. Um, and the nurse comes and tells uh, Romeo, you better hurry up and come. Uh, Tybalt's angry. So um, Tybalt wants to fight with Romeo. Um, Romeo doesn't want to. He doesn't want any problems. He's in love with Juliet. Um, but uh, Tybalt um, is egging on uh, Mercutio. And Mercutio has, is upset. And he wants Romeo to fight. And so they do. But... Or no, Romeo doesn't fight, but um, Mercutio um, does, and he ends up being killed by Tybalt. And then Romeo, to avenge his, uh, his friend, goes and kills um, Tybalt. Okay? Five, what does it mean to be banished? How does Fire Lawrence calm Romeo down after he has been banished from Verona? So, it means he must leave Verona and never return or be killed. That's banished. He tells him he will come up with a plan that he and Juliet will be back together. So that's the plan to calm him down. Whose idea is it for Juliet to fake her own death? Okay, Friar Lawrence. And why is she willing to do it? Well, like Romeo, she would rather die than um, be without him or marry Paris. Seven, how does Friar Lawrence's plan go wrong? Well, the messenger is late. Um, he was supposed to get a letter to Romeo letting him know what was going on. And so he ends up stopping uh, because there's a sick child and he helps the child. And then um, he doesn't get the letter to Romeo. So Romeo doesn't know what's going on. Okay. So this is understand the questions and pre-bucketing. Um, so we have, what is the analytical question asked by this mini cue? What terms in the question need to be defined? Rewrite the question in your own words. And then the pre-bucketing. 
Using any clues from the mini Q question in the synopsis circle, create logical analytical ca uh, categories and label the buckets. We suggest a three bucket format. So basically with those buckets, and I'll show you down here. Okay, let me. So let's do the first and then we'll get to the buckets, okay? So what is the analytical question asked by this mini Q? So if you go back and look at the synopsis, it's, it tells you, okay? So it's just saying, who is to blame for the deaths of Romeo and Juliet? Then it says, what terms in the question need to be defined? Blame, okay? So it says, rewrite question in your own words. So I said, think about synonyms or words that mean blame or the same as blame, um, like responsible or who caused it. And just write one sentence um, that means the same thing as who is to blame for the deaths of Romeo and Juliet, okay? Now to the buckets, um, so you're using any clues from um, what you've read, okay, to create um, these categories of blame, basically. So you've got three buckets. So you could pick um, three different characters. You could even pick fate. So fate means it, it was just meant to happen. It, it wouldn't have mattered what anybody did. It was still going to happen. Okay, hold on, I have to yell at my child real quick. Hey, turn that off, I'm, I'm doing a video. Turn it off now. All right, sorry about that. So, so um, some people might say, oh, it's Friar Lawrence, or someone else might blame Juliet's father, or somebody else might blame Tybalt, or even, you know, um, you could, you know, depending on how you're looking at the story, you could pick a lot of different characters, okay? But you have to have reasons, okay? If you're going to blame somebody, then you should be able to back that up with why you're blaming them, okay? Okay, so this is um, document A, which is going to be your next assignment. So um, for today, you, you know, or Monday, I should say, um... You have your synopsis, synopsis circle questions, okay? That's an assignment. And then you have understanding the question in pre-bucketing, okay? So let me just go up here real quick to remind you what your teacher's um, calendar says, okay? So, um, Let's see, so it, they're not having a, um, it doesn't look like they're having a Zoom, so th you'll be doing those on your own. Um, on the 21st, so Tuesday the 21st, complete document A and B. So I'll come back and um, um, read the story note, read the excerpts from the play, translate each line, which we've done a lot of, and answer the questions in complete sentences, Okay. Or if you, you know, you don't want to, just go to Google Classroom at 10 a.m. to click on the Zoom meeting link for help, and um, your teacher will work with you on that, okay? So totally up to you. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.